up EV. And we're going to try to make this as quick as possible. I want to keep you guys hanging. This is from Jermaine Rogers at Choices, man. Choices is the release. He's Series 1. This guy, Jermaine Rogers, has worked with some pretty high-key people. I mean, Nine Inch Nails, David Bowie, Run the Jewels, Tool, Radiohead, Childish Gambino, Queens of the Stone Age is one of my favorite bands, the Foo Fighters, and many others. Shout out to Trey Reznor, too, on that one. All right, and we got the first one, the common, which is the protector. 40 gems, 2,222 editions, common. That's all right. This is the one that I'm going for. I think it's going to be a big one, the assassin. The name alone is dope. Plus, it's the only one with blood on a knife. 50 gems, 1,666 editions, Comic-Con exclusive. We got the blue, the big crypt. 70 gems, 1,111 editions. It's a rare. And then we got the big boy, the one that I'm not even going to attempt to go for. Because if you watch my last two releases, I mean, uh, last two attempts for a ultra rare has been terrible. 888 editions, 90 gems. I'm, I'm not even going for I'm This is my strategy here. I'm going for this one. And I'm going to try to get multiples. I'm going to try to get maybe about, maybe four, sell three, keep one, and then hopefully I'll have enough to grab this, and then I'll go for the other two later if I'm going to try to complete the set. But honestly, I just want this one, all right? But yeah, there's the release. The Hunter is the last one. Ultra rare. Good luck on that one. Um, I also wanted to key in on some stuff real quick. If you're on Twitter, some people don't get on Twitter. I understand. I don't, I don't really like Twitter as much on only on there for VV, but there's been like people complaining about the drops. Um, this is only the third day of the the announcement for drops, and uh, I, I think people need to chill out once again. Believe in the company. Uh, all it's showing is that some a lot of us probably don't even go to Comic Con because like the Mondo announcement is kind of big. That's a that's a big deal at Comic Con. The posters are very hard to get. Um, so uh, it's, it's either showing that we just haven't been to, to Comic-Con or we, some of us aren't even really collectors. Um, and we're just looking for the huge, huge names. I think we all need to chill out once again, believe in the company and just enjoy the ride. But yeah, man, we got two more days of announcements. I think, I think it's up to Friday. Hopefully we see something big. I think it's. I think one of them's gonna be like a Funko Pop collab with just a Funko Pop mascot. That's what I'm thinking. But other than that, that's Mike from uh, Collector Bros. Hope you guys have a good day. Like, comment, subscribe, all that. All right, peace.